Semiconductor companies were divided today as the U.S. government eyes partial ownership of this chip giant. Here's why. The semiconductor industry has been a hot topic recently as Trump eyes additional tariffs on semiconductor imports that will be announced next week. While the details are still vague, what we do know is that the tariff will start off low and will increase over time to unsustainable levels, creating less of an incentive and more of a requirement for companies to manufacture components in the U.S. As a frame of reference, Taiwan currently produces around 90% of the global supply of advanced chips used in everything from cars to computers. However, Trump isn't the first president to try and move semiconductor production to the U.S. In 2022, Biden signed the Chips and Science Act, which earmarked $50 billion in funding and incentives to expand domestic research and manufacturing of semiconductors. However, when Trump took office earlier this year, he vowed to get rid of the CHIPS Act, removing the incentive of the carrot and replacing it with the stick that is tariffs. Or that's what we thought. Today, Commerce Secretary Lutnick announced that the U.S. government is eyeing a 10% ownership in Intel in exchange for CHIPS Act funding. With this information, we can only assume that the Trump administration expects similar deals with other chips manufacturers such as AMD, Taiwan Semiconductor, and most importantly, NVIDIA. As a result of this announcement, shares for Intel jumped 8%, while other chip makers experienced moderate losses, with the semiconductor industry dropping around 1-2% overall. But it's safe to assume that in the days leading up to the semiconductor tariff announcements, we'll see more deals being made and more reactions from investors. Follow to stay in the loop.